Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm Ahmad Fidal Sibirosman from Group 11. Our group will present about water irrigation with smart system. For the introduction, as we know, uh, fresh water is an important resource that keep up sustainable in our life. It's now facing a major crisis that can lead to drought uh, and devastating effect to uh, the farming land. So uh, the precision farming usually uh, refer to farming management system based on the use of modern technologies. In this project, we decided to set a goal for sustainable development goal, which is number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Uh, we will improve the water management with the smart uh, irrigation system as we suggested. So these are the problems that we face in this project. The first one is uh, the climate of nature is rainy, hot and humid throughout the year. Uh, during some uh, drought season uh, or monsoon season, the weather could be a huge problem for the farmers. So the condition of soil humidity is not stable and sometimes in dangerous level. So this is why uh, the water irrigation is important. Uh, the next problem is uh, geographically challenged. Uh, so <clears throat> to tackle this problem, uh, we need to supply uh, water uh, to the higher ground uh, up to 80 meters. Uh, and finally, uh, the cost uh, is also uh, the problem in this project uh, as we use um, smart system sensors, smart sprinkler and microcontroller in order to have a basic and workable irrigation system. We move to the objectives uh, and scope for this project. Uh, in this, uh, for the objective, we want to build a smart system that can watering automatically to supply water from lower to the higher area. We build uh, a cost effective smart system and for the scope, um, farmers in rural, rural area uh, and those whose fields are located near a hill type will be the focus of this project's agriculture and irrigation systems. And uh, besides, uh, we must have a constant flow of water supply and must have basic controlling smart features. Analysis part, um, we list down three uh, important criteria which are able to extract the customer requirements, identify the priority of consumer requirements, identify the related engineering characteristics and uh, the design of market survey that we use. Uh, first is demographic profile, uh, second is general overview and the third is Likert scale. Based uh, on the survey that has been done for 30 respondents, uh, this is uh, some example from demographic profile questions, uh, which is uh, we ask the respondent about their gender, their education as example. So for this, um, we ask the respondent uh, to answer whether he or she is male or female uh, or another question is about yes or no for demographic profile. Uh, uh, same goes for the general overview. Uh, we ask the respondent about water irrigation system, whether they already know or not know about the water irrigation system. As we can see here, 95% of respondents already know about water irrigation system. So uh, the third one is um, based on we made this uh, question is uh, based on Likert scale, which is um, the respondent need to answer uh, based on the scale of the statement that has been questioned to them. So this is the result uh, of problem encountered. So the final question or the final section for the for our survey is about uh, important importance ranking uh, of customer expectation on the smart irrigation system. Um, so we can see here that decision will control in watering is the most uh, important uh, in the ranking, importance ranking uh, from the survey that's been made. So that's all for me. Um, thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day. I am Muhammad Arif Shah Ben Morad from RQ08. Today, I will be presenting about design specification for our project. For our project, we need a microcontroller. What is microcontroller? Microcontroller is basically a small computer that runs one specific program and are dedicated to a single task. In case of our project, we need a smart sprinkler controller to distribute water more efficiently. We found three smart sprinkler controllers that we consider for our project. The first one is Rain Machine Touch Pro, second one is the Ratio 3rd Gen, and the last one is Beehive XR. After comparing all of the product in the benchmarking table, we found out that Ratio 3rd Gen is the best choice because it has more precise 
control in watering, has low maintenance fees, and has two years of warranty. Also, the total score based on the product weight matrix tell us that Regio 3rd Gen has the highest score which is 35 compared to Red Machine Touch Pro 8 and Beehive XR. So, Regio 3rd Gen should be smart controller for our project. For listening to the voice of customer, the half of quality will be used in the quality function deployment methodology to compile all the obtained data and conduct numerical analysis. From the calculation of important weight table, we can see customer wants a high precision control in watering, low maintenance fee and affordable manufacturing cost as all the weight factor score is 5. From HOQ table, the highest relative weight and raw score is cost with a raw score of 130 and relative weight of 25.64%, followed by operating system with 19.13%, relative weight with 17.10%, outdoor protection 11.64%, water flow with 10.65%, durability with 8.68%, and lastly, the lowest is energy use with a raw score of only 7.10%. Thanks for listening and I will pass on to my next presenter to continue our presentation. Good morning, Doctor and my fellow teammates. I'm Uncle Liang and I represent Concept Generation. Firstly, this is the physical decomposition of our smart irrigation system. We have water delivery, water storage, electronic components and power supply system. Below is the sub-components. Next, functional representation. The first one is standard flow classes and member flow types. The flow classes we have energy, material, and signal. Next, function structure black box. The figure shows that the input through the system and the output. We have function structure of smart irrigation system. Firstly, the water is filter, the large particle, and the flow energy is converted to hydropower and transported, and the flow and pressure is monitored, and the water is filtered. Next, the water is stored and transport to excessive tank if the water is excessive, and strictly to water the crops by controlling the water output using input and output signal by detecting the plant condition. Next, design parameter and constraint. Firstly, we have environmental constraint. The distance between two areas of irrigation is long and involves other farmers' land and the work of maintenance is high. Next, we have economical constraint. We need a long prepping system from downhill to upper area. The material used must be able to withstand corrosion and we must also consider the maintenance fees. Next, we have power consumption constraint. This is due to the limited supply of electricity in rural area, and that's why we should consider renewable energy. Lastly, we have operational constraint. The farmer in rural area cannot understand the smart system, thus require special training and guidance to operate. The figure shows that morphological chart. In the four concepts we generated, we have different types of material used for each function. Concept 1. In this concept, we use hydraulic ram pump as our pump to transport the water and is monitored by mechanical gauge and delivered by PVC delivery pipe and filtered by sand media filter and stored in polyethylene tank. The water is transported to water the crops and controlled by microcontroller and solenoid path and detect the plant condition using soil moisture sensor. In concept 2, we have submersible solar DC pump. It's fully powered by the photovoltaic cell. It's transported by galvanized memory pipe and filtered by spring filter to standard steel water tank. And to water the crops, again, we have small soil moisture sensor and microcontroller and signal wave. In concept 3, we use sling pump to pump the water 
as monitored by digital gauge and delivered it by using copper delivery pipe and filtered by this filter. Water is stored in fiberglass tank and to water the crops we have Wi-Fi module and microcontroller to control the water output and is powered by photovoltaic cell and water is controlled by diaphragm valve. We also have temperature sensor and rain sensor that works with Wi-Fi module best. In concept 4, we use olive pump and its water is monitored by mechanical gauge and transported by cross linked polyethylene delivery pipe and filter by tea type filter and water is stored in hot deeper galvanized press steel. To water the crops, we have automatic water timer that enable user to set the water timer. And we have check valve to control the water output. Thank you very much. That's all from me. Hello and assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Tufami bin Muhammad Sulaiman. I will continue the presentation in chapter 5, which is conceptual design. <coughs> Argument is overview. The main objective is to determine which concept is the best and appropriate for our project. We use path chart and regression metric as a method. The decision we stand out among all these concepts will be finally shaped in. It's confirmed to be used for the rest of the project. 5.2 is decision making. There are four concepts that will be discussed and evaluated. Uh, it will be carried out by decision making tools and by decision metric. Uh, great effort should be made to evaluate possible bias and relevant of the fact. 5.3 is path chart. There are two stages in path chart. First stage is use uh, existing product which is a ratio tangent as a datum and second stage we use a concept one as a datum. This is the part of one, part of one. We use a ratio tangent as a datum. The result from the part of one, uh, concept one has the highest score and concept four has the lowest score which is negative one. Table 5.2, part of chart two. Uh, we use concept one as a datum because it has a high score uh, from the previous part of chart one. So from the part of chart two, all the concept has the negative score from the result show, concept 1 is the best option and we will use for further evaluation in weight decision metric. 5.4 Weight decision metric. Weight decision metric is a method evaluating on the concept that generate by ranking the criteria with weighting factor and score. The criteria is chosen from house of quality and by giving the scoring to each criteria and ranking each concept by the score, the best idea of concept will be selected. And the objective 3 is one of the systematic methods are used to determine the weighting factor of each criteria. This is the objective tree, and this is the objective tree uh, with weight metric. Table 5.4 show the weight decision metric for concept 1 and 2, where table 5.5 show the weight decision metric for concept 3 and 4. 5.5 concept selection. From the table with uh, decision metric, concept 1 has the highest score, uh, which is 7.65, while the lowest score is concept 4, with only 5.82 score. Concept 2 gets scores at 6.64 and concept 3 is slightly lower than concept 2 with score of 6.39. This proves that concept 1 is the best idea for conceptual design. I can see physics of idea, design ideas. Hydraulic ramp pump is a complete automatic device that uses the energy in the flowing water such as a stream or a river. Uh, with a continuous flow of water, it can operate continuously without a requirement of external force. This is the water hammer. Effect in hydraulic ring pump, uh, water hammer effect is a natural phenomenon that increases the pressure of water in a pipe of over a short period of time. If the water velocity is high enough, uh, as far as closer of the pipe will cause a water hammer effect. The water flowing will be compressed to the valve which has been closed suddenly with velocity, water has kinetic energy. By closing quickly the pipe, the kin this kinetic energy is transformed into pressure. This is the symmetry diagram of hydraulic ring pump. This is the water supply and the water flow to the drive pipe. This is the water hammer locator and this is the delivery valve. When the pressure increases, the delivery valve will open and fill up the air chamber. And then when the air chamber fully load, uh, it will close the delivery valve and the water will be pumped out to the delivery pipe. This is the equation that we use to calculate water discharge flow rate, velocity of flow in the delivery pipe, power required to run the pump, hydraulic ramp pipe efficiency, run up number to determine type of flow. Friction factor for smooth pipe and head loss of pipe. This is the isometric view of the selected concept. And lastly, uh, figure 4.6 is isometric view with build of material. This is the what what waste wall. This is the pressure gauge and third is uh, air chamber. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. Uh, 
thank you for watching the presentation and have a good day